I thought for sure that Ulta had betrayed me and sold me a fake palette. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a haul of stuff and I'm pretty excited. I have several things, well many things, sitting here in front of me that are beauty and makeup related. Something I like to do in my haul videos is give you guys a little glimpse of what might be featured in future giveaways. So today I'm going to show you guys several items that I have picked out for our future 20k giveaway. I know that I am still several subscribers away from 20k but I feel like Eventually, one day we will get there, and I cannot wait to have this giveaway for you guys. So if you would like to be part of this little family here, and you're excited for this future giveaway, please go ahead and subscribe. Plus, we do have giveaways every single month on this channel, so you have a chance to win something every month if you are subscribed to this channel. All right, so let's go ahead and get in here. I'm pretty excited to show you guys all the things I've been collecting over the past couple of weeks. Um, I probably need somebody to like restrain me. Somebody stop me. But I just can't help it. I do love my online shopping. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with more of the like beauty related things, not so much makeup, and then we'll move into makeup and then giveaway items at the end. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna start with this big box next to me and this is a little too much. This is just like this much too much. So Bath & Body Works was having a sale and um, I decided I needed a couple of fragrance sprays. Let's just say I felt as if I needed 10 fragrance mists all at the same time. All right, so I was super excited when I saw that these fragrance mists were on sale at Bath & Body Works. They're originally $14. I got them for three a piece. Like who couldn't resist buying 10 at the same time? Um, I typically leave one of these in my purse. I have them sitting in my room. I have them sitting everywhere. I just really enjoy fragrance sprays. And the way I like rationalized it in my head is that two of these originally would have cost pretty much the same amount as all 10 of these did on sale. So that's how I justified like buying in bulk in my head. So the fragrances I got are Plumeria, Peach Bellini, Juniper Breeze, Sun Ripened Raspberry, Sensual Amber, Freesha, Freesha Vakadoo, Freesha Vak Dark Kiss, Country Apple, Pearberry, and finally, Brown Sugar and Fig. But I am pretty excited to have all of these. I guess I'm going to be smelling fresh for like the rest of eternity. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the next like beauty item I have. This is the ever so famous Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, and I'm told that in Portuguese it's actually Boom Boom. Let me know if that's correct. I'm sure you guys have seen this all over the internet all the time. It is pretty hyped up here on YouTube. I saw this on Octoly, and I, I had to get it. I had to know what the hype was about. I had to smell it, I had to touch it, I had to see if it worked. Now you guys have heard me talk about Octoly before and products that I get from Octoly. My opinions are like 100% my own. Everything is completely honest. Everything's just how I feel about it. The first thing I feel about this is that it is very expensive, quite pricey. I think this is $45 for this container right here. Um, I do actually really like the packaging. I think it's super cute. I like this this lid here, it's real big, and I like how it's shaped, it's just kind of different. Okay. Oh, okay, that actually smells super, super good. I don't even know, what is that scent? I don't know, I'm not really sure what it smells like, but it does smell good. It's just a really like thick, creamy cream. Um, it has a little bit of like a yellow tint to it. I think this is mainly advertises people using it on their like bum, but you can use it everywhere. It is like an all over cream, but you can put this absolutely everywhere. And currently I have super crusty arms. Um, I have something called KP and it is all over my arms. It's those little like chicken skin bumps. And um, one way that you can help reduce those is by exfoliating and moisturizing. So I'm going to try this on my arms and see if it, you know, helps out with this really rough skin. All right, just rubbing this in, it does feel very smooth, which I enjoy. It is supposed to absorb pretty quickly, which is nice. I literally cannot stand putting lotion on in the summer and then going outside and like the humidity and you can just feel it like setting on top of your skin, like covering your Plans. Quick story, I went to a John Mayer concert like two summers ago or something and before I left I like slathered myself in lotion for no reason whatsoever and then when we got to the concert it was 
so incredibly hot and so incredibly humid that like I felt like I was wrapped in plastic wrap because I had so much lotion on. So I literally went to the bathroom, stood in a 20 minute line, missed his first however many songs, went in there and like individually pulled off paper towels and washed myself in the bathroom because I couldn't breathe. My skin couldn't breathe because of how much lotion was on it. All right, so, so far I'm liking it, but I will keep you guys updated on this lotion to see if it does anything miraculous to my legs. I do dry brush and stuff, so I'm going to use this after I do my dry brushing and hopefully the combined powers will just give me super smooth legs, but uh, we'll see. All right, let's go ahead and move on into the makeup items, but first I wanna show you guys the sand Samples. Like, look at the amount of samples that I've gotten just recently from the stuff that I have picked up. We got some Marc Jacobs liner, we got a Lancome Coral Boost, we got a NARS bronzer, Tarte foundation. Like, I'm pretty excited about this. Plus, I do want to do a full face using only samples, so um, that's going to be very helpful with that. All right, something else that is a little bit sampley, I got this Bobbi's Cult Favorite Kit from Sephora. I used my Beauty Insider points for this. This is a 500 point kit. So this came with a Smoky Eye Mascara and it also came with a Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in the shade Sand Dune. Ooh, that's really pretty. I like that color quite a bit. And it also came with a little mini lipstick here. Ooh, that's also a super pretty color. I definitely like these nudes. I wasn't sure of the colors when I purchased the little thingy bob. And then it also came with a hydrating eye cream and then a little bronzing powder. Mine is in the shade medium too. And this does look like a nice bronzing shade, plus this could also be used as an eyeshadow. So yeah, I'm really happy with this color palette here. All right, next up we have this Kevin Aquan Contour Book Volume 2, and I'm pretty excited about this. This I also got from Octoly. Um, This has cream contour in it, and I have never in my life cream contoured, like at all whatsoever so I'm very excited to try this out but I'm also like pretty nervous about it. So it comes with a cream contour and cream highlight. The cream contour is super pigmented, very smooth. The cream highlight is a little bit like subtle but maybe it'll look pretty. And then it also comes with these two in powder form so if I get real scared by these two I'm just going to transition <laughs> to these down here but very excited to try it out. And it also comes with four other eye shadows I'm guessing and these are gorgeous especially these two up here this one is Brighton then Starlight, Cool Tan, and Ruddy Earth. These are super pretty colors. They all come in these little palette like this. You have your cream contours, your powder contours, and I guess eyeshadow shades at the top. And then on the inside, it gives you like guidelines and tips on how to contour and then create eyeshadow looks. Uh, I'll definitely be referring to this one right here. Gosh, you guys, I'm sorry I talk so much. I've been filming forever and we're still not done yet. I'm very sorry. Um, the next thing we have here is a palette by Juvia's Place. This is the Saharan palette. I'm not 100% sure if I'm saying that correctly. If I am not, please correct me down in the comments. But look at these shades. This is absolutely gorgeous. Definitely one of the more interesting eyeshadow palettes I own. And I've already had to swatch this seven times because they're just so pretty. So like here are some of them on the finger and then on the skin where it's clean. Like that is just absolutely insane pigmentation. This green, I love it so much. I cannot wait to find a look to put this with. Like I just, I, it's beautiful. Here are some of the mattes. I mean, they're absolutely beautiful too. The pigmentation on those is fantastic. I'm super, super excited about this palette. All right, you guys, I have some other stuff, but I feel like this video is getting a little long and I don't want to make you guys like suffer. So I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the giveaway items. All right, first up for the giveaway, we have three items here. These are little Fiona Styles Artist Eyeshadow Quads. And I saw these on sale at Ulta for like $7, and I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I figured I would get you guys three of them. They come packaged like this in this super cute like purple metal, and then on the inside we just have 
our quads. So first up we have Canyon and it is these beautiful like neutral warm bronzes and browns. And then next we have Electra which has these like beautiful plummy tones. And finally we have Barrow which is just a super neutral palette. We have a little light pink up here with a white, a gray, and then a more dark brown. I thought these were super cute. They have a decent like weighty fill to them. Plus I just think it would be really easy to create an eyeshadow look with any one of these. So I hope you guys enjoy these. Alright you guys, and now for the final item, probably my favorite thing that we put into this giveaway is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. This is my like favorite palette. I love it so very much. The colors are beautiful, the pigmentation is fantastic. I just, it's just beautiful. Now I experienced some drama today. I about had like a panic attack because I opened this up out of the Ulta package and like it has a little Ulta sticker on it right there. Like here's my receipt from Ulta. It says Anastasia Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette right there. But then I looked at it and I thought that something seemed off. So I went and grabbed my Modern Renaissance palette and because I'm a crazy hoarder lady and I keep all the packaging from all of my makeup stuff, I went and grabbed the box and I noticed that the little logo that is typically right here was not on this box or on the palette itself and like the lettering for Beverly Hills was different and I was like, I thought for sure that Ulta had betrayed me and sold me a fake palette. So I immediately got on the phone and I called Anastasia Beverly Hills and I was like, listen, I just bought this palette from Ulta and I compared it to my one that I bought forever ago and they're different. And the lady was super sweet and she basically told me to like, calm down, everything's okay. There are some Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes that do not have the logo. She told me that they have gotten this call so many times because people are freaking out that big retailers are selling them a fake palette, but she assured me it is a very real palette and that Ulta is a verified seller, so everything is everything is good. So I was just having like a panic moment for a little bit this morning when I received this in the mail, um, but everything is fine now. I just would never want to give you guys a fake palette because that's just, that's deceitful, that's wrong. To tell somebody that you're giving them something and it's actually like a fake, that's just very deceitful. So wanted to just assure you if you are the winner of this palette and you look at it and you're like, hey, it's missing the logo, like everything is okay. If you want to call up Anastasia Beverly Hills yourself, you can definitely do that to verify that this is indeed a real palette. All right, you guys, this is probably a very long video with a lot of me talking. I'm very sorry about that. You know, I used to be incredibly shy and not talk like at all. I bet you guys are kind of wishing <laughs> that's how it was. But anyway, just thank you guys so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. I would really love to push for that 20k. I would love to be able to do this giveaway. I'm just so like excited for it. I love giving stuff away. But for now, go ahead and enter into our... But for now, go ahead and enter into our... But for now, go ahead and enter into our... Why can I not say into, enter into our... But for now, go ahead and enter into our <laughs> June giveaway. And as always, I just hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!